Welcome to our journey from the UAE to Qatar. Join us as we give you behind the scenes access as Golfcraft's chairman, Mohammed Al Shaali, and Captain Patricia make their way to Doha on board the Nomad 70 and the Silver Cat 46 Lux. Our journey begins in Ajman, where Captain Patricia and her crew are doing the final checks, just before they embark on the 400 nautical mile trip from Ajman to Doha and then back. We have just finished building the good ship, the Nomad 70 number two. Uh, we've run it through all the testing out of Umaquem, multiple sea trials, and everything seems to be running really smoothly. Uh, so it's very nice now. Now that we get to go and do a 400 nautical mile round trip from Ajman, Doha, and Qatar, and then come back. So it's a really good shakedown. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of weather as well. We'll see what the stability's like, make sure she's nice and strong and doing everything that she's designed and built for. Right on time, Mohammed Al Shahali, Golfcraft's chairman, arrives with his guests and is welcomed by Captain Patricia. I have my fishing team with me. Yep. What we will do will stop fishing. You go direct. Perfect. Yep. It depends on the, your speed because you can go faster. Uh, the the other ones are for me, so I've bought some fast uh, fast trolling lures. With the departure time fast approaching, the crew do the final checks and Captain Patricia takes us through the logistical side of the trip. What we're doing uh, today is uh, I get to drive inside the air conditioning. It's the first boat within Golfcraft that has a Garmin 360 cameras attached and uh, it, means, it means I get to see exactly where I'm going. Excellent visibility. Okay, Captain, clear. All. All right, so we are off and racing. We've left the Ajman Service Center. We are coming up Ajman Creek. I expected maybe to come up with an afternoon sea breeze this afternoon, nothing more than about 15 knots. But, you know, it's one of the cool things about the Nomad 70 is that she is built for this type of trip. She's built to be able to to cruise internationally in these areas and uh, you know the GCC region is is perfect for it so uh, let's see how she goes. Luckily our, our chairman is already out there hopefully he's already caught some fish let's see if we can catch some once we get underway as well uh, so we can all have a tasty barbecue for dinner tonight. A keen fisherman Captain Patricia always comes prepared with the latest fishing gear, ready to catch all sorts of fish in all kinds of situations. We're doing like fast trolling for a change. To do it at 15 knots is kind of funny. Let's see how this goes. We are just arriving into, um, into one of the islands of, uh, of the UAE. It's a UAE island from the Sharjah Emirates um, and it's called Abu Nayef. So we're just slowly cruising in, sunset, it's a beautiful time for it. Um, but we're just gonna come in, we're gonna anchor in about, hopefully about 10 meters of water. Once we are anchored down and ready, maybe it's time for a swim, I don't know. And then I expect the SCAT 46 to arrive. They will raft up with us for an evening and uh, Hopefully they have fish on board and it's dinner time. As the silver cat arrives with the chairman, it's time to catch dinner. But for some of the team, catching fish is proving a lot harder than for others. <laughs> Until eventually, Captain Patricia catches one. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so here we are, day two. It is uh, just after 5 a.m. We have lifted anchor 
from our uh, from our anchorage from last night and we are on our way to Qatar so we have 141 nautical miles to go we're cruising back up at 15 knots and uh, luckily we have some very nice calm smooth beautiful uh, seas the boat's handling well we had a very restful peaceful night sleeping last night and uh, we're looking forward to getting to Qatar are 19.3 miles from Qatar. Officially we're in Qatar waters. We've already had a visit from the Coast Guard. They stopped by to say hello and check and make sure uh, we are who we are. So we've had an absolute glamour run this morning. It's uh, It's been glass out across the water. Uh, 46 has also been hanging with us. Uh, process are coming up now. Do all that clearances, make sure everything's fine. And then basically Rinse down the boat, make sure she's all turned around, uh, spick and span, and uh, and ready to receive our guests on board. I'm extremely happy with the performance of the boat. The, the fuel consumption has been uh, has been bang on. Um, she hasn't skipped a beat with with any of our systems. Uh, it's it, she's been running really well, doing exactly what she's designed to do. After arriving safely in Doha, long-term clients of Golfcraft were welcomed on board the Nomad 70 for a nice catch-up with the chairman. On his way back to the UAE, Golfcraft's chairman wanted to say a few words about the hospitality experienced while in Doha. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our supporters, our loyal customers in Qatar. Uh, we are very pleased uh, to see the enthusiasm and uh, loyalty from our customer in Qatar. And as I always uh, say, we will uh, always uh, bring the best products to our uh, customer and our market uh, in Qatar. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every uh, one of them. Thank you very much.